Okay, we saw aviation history at Detroit's Metro Airport. Delta's Airbus A350 took off for the very first time, headed to Japan. Our Paula Tutman was one of the select journalists allowed inside that plane before takeoff. She shows us what is next for the next generation of air travel. If you've been flying and you just absolutely have to get there and it's all about the destination, this is gonna change everything for you. Just before takeoff this morning, a private tour of Delta's new A350 Airbus, moments before its inaugural flight to Tokyo. As the airline jumps feet first and ups its ante into the Uber ultra luxury air travel experience game. Really focuses on uh, comfortable seating, uh, privacy. Private seating. The moment you enter the cabin of the Airbus A350, you see the pods or suites of Delta One. Customers will easily pull on this lever and the door will close automatically on its own. Consider this section first class on steroids. Especially when they put it in, uh, they put the bed in, in the flat mode and able to go to sleep. A few steps aft and you find premium select. And some of the features it brings is uh, a leg, uh, leg rest for it. It has noise canceling headphones for our customers. From there it's the main cabin. Now apparently there's something known as flight geeks. People who love the thrill of new technology. Like Anthony Ward who flew here from Minneapolis. He spent $5,000 for his sweet and will turn around and fly back to Michigan just for the thrill of it. I'm an aviation nerd and just be part of that. Joe Gall is from Royal Oak and he's on his way to Japan on business and didn't even know what all the fuss was about. I noticed all the people drinking champagne and there's a brand new plane in the background but I didn't realize this was my gate. When I told him his random flight is actually an historical first, he got in line for champagne. Ask anyone about an in-flight horror story. They encroached three inches into my seating area. So we couldn't put the armrest down. Oh, I was on a KLM flight once from Seoul to Amsterdam and was stuck between two six foot six Dutch men in the middle seat. I get really claustrophobic, so I don't like to be in the middle seat. And that's the selling point of these suites. They are an armrest, haggle free zone. You have incredible built in storage for oversized carry on. You can recline the seats to a flat position, like a bed, without bumping the passenger in front of you, or more importantly, not getting bumped yourself. It becomes less, uh, oh my God, let me just get their destination, and more about a pleasant flying experience. I'm interested to see the benefits that they have. Okay, so I know you want to know the pricing, right? It's really difficult to get apples to apples because Delta is bringing in these new products. But I did faux book a flight 30 days from now, and what I found was for a main cabin, it was about $200 more for the Airbus. But keep in mind, Delta is going to be interchanging these planes as they kind of, you know, phase out the 747s and bring in more Airbuses. So I'm told that the pricing will be comparable, Karen. However, I did find a 30 day from now flight to Japan for $7,000. So <laughs> wait for that sweet. I know, come on, girl, let's go. It's a little let's go. Out you of and my I, range. let's go next weekend. Maybe we could share the sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It looks really nice. All right, thank you, Paula. We appreciate it. <laughs>